Welcome back to Crossroads. We are at Justice Intermediate School, and I'm surrounded by a lot of very bright young people from the Justice Robotics Club. And Mary Miller is their teacher, and this club's only been around for a short time, but you've already done some impressive things. Uh, yes, it started two years ago when we received a grant from the Tech Point Foundation of Youth. And we got one robotics kit with that to build one robot, and it's been added to, so now we have two robots here. So Justice. these guys all volunteer to be in this club, or how do they compete to get in? Yeah, they have to try out. They have to uh, write an essay on why they would like to be here, and they also have to sketch a design based on this year's game. Okay, so it's all extracurricular, and this looks to me like... Legos on steroids, but I know it's a lot more sophistication. And you were telling me they actually have to build these. Yes, they ha they have to build these. They do snap together, but there are motors and gears, and they put it all together from little individual pieces all the way to this. All right. Well, we're going to see what they can do. We got guys and girls on different teams, but they're going to work together. So when you're ever yes. you're ready, let's get them going. All right, you ready? Go. Watch out! The robots are coming. My goodness, well, somebody's ahead. Now, they're not actually racing in this case, are they? They have a common goal. They are trying to knock down a bunch of rings to get 20 bonus points, and then they can stack up rings on the post as well as um, push them back into the scoring zone. And this is a competition they would go to in the state and have to do the same kind of game, is that right? Yes, they go to local competitions. All right, time to switch. And now they switch drivers at 30 seconds, yes. and that's part of the competition rules, too. So yes. we're, we're trying to work together so they can release yes. the big thing of rings at the end. Yes. So they go to local competitions and then qualify for state, and then world's competitions after that is in Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, this won't, this won't release for the big splash unless they work together. Yes, yeah. yes. technically, uh, one, one group could do both. Both love okay. latches. So these guys, are, the, the boys right. are stuck. I'm going to say the girls have, have reached their, their goal right now. So yes. looks like they're unstuck. I, I don't, you know, if there's driving involved, I just want to say that um, <laughs> I want these ladies to drive me to the store more than more than more the guys than here. Okay, so they're out there together, and now they work together. Yes. All right, looks like the girls' lever is pretty close to undone. Don't set it back up there, gentlemen. Okay. Go ahead and try to unlatch yours. And they're going to go try Ladies, to unlatch. looks like yours might be. Very close, very close. <laughs> guys are still. These are the guys who are running this like a PlayStation controller. controller yes. and it is very much like a PlayStation controller. Still haven't controller. gotten there. Now, he's, now they're working together. All right, girls, go knock over your lever. The girls are going to go do theirs. Now the driving problems have swift, switched to the yeah. girls. Again, no commentary on that. Just, <laughs> just, play, just play by play, just an observation. So it, it looks like this would be simple, but because they've designed yeah. it and because it's a robot, mm -hmm. it's not just simple, you know, like a toy. Part of the reason why it's so difficult to control is one motor on the left is controlled by one joystick and the right motor controlling the right side is controlled by another joystick. So you have to work them together. Good job, George. You put a ring up on the post. Uh, someone's putting a ring on the post yes. and the girls are still trying oh, to release almost there, almost there. No, so they're going back. They still haven't quite got it. I'm sure if I was doing this, it would be even worse. We'd be here all day. <laughs> so they're trying to hit it with the front. Levi's. And see, even our kids that were in the robotics clubs last year, here it comes. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. Uh, even the kids that were in the robotics club last year, it's a whole different robot, so you have to relearn how to drive them. And this is just the control of it. They actually are going to do programming of it in the future. Yes, yes. programming will start now that the robots are together. They'll start right away. And, they, and they're judged on all the different skills, not just... Not just yeah, you can get lots of various different awards. You can get the engineering award for the best robot design. You can get um, the programming for autonomous mode, and you can get the driver's skill challenge and the teamwork challenge. So it's a complete thing. It's not just this race that you've seen there. So thanks, Mary Miller, and thanks for the demonstration. And these guys are going to keep learning all year. What a wonderful way to make learning fun and dealing with the technology of tomorrow. Just work on those driving skills. Get that.